Here we have this NCM Aspen Plus stock. It has a 500 watt rear drive motor. Uh, we're gonna upgrade it to 1500 watt with a 48 volt, 35 amp controller. Uh, we got screen, pedal assist sensor, throttle. We're gonna try and keep the stock throttle because it's better. Here's the pigtail connector. This kit has everything we need, pretty much. It's a free hub, or sorry, a free wheel. Power goes in on the left side, on the disc brake side. There's the free wheel. We're gonna to have to downgrade it from a eight speed freewheel to a seven because of the spacing, because of this width there. Uh, we have a Grin torque arm, V6, which is very important because of the extra torque this puts out compared to the 500 watt. Very important part to keep everything together and from taking out the dropouts on the bike. And then also we upgraded the battery from a, I think it's a 15 amp hour stock to a 25 amp hour, 48 volt. So we're gonna get taking this apart and I'm gonna show you somewhat step-by-step -step on the build. The uh, controller is much bigger than this stock one. So we're gonna have to mount it somewhere on the down tube here. It's not gonna look near as good as that. That's really small compared to this guy. Um, battery, that Dorado battery fits right in here, no problem. So that'll be nice and easy. Screen will replace the DOS kit screen. This is uh, 1500 watts is illegal on most streets, so don't, don't do this. Do this at your own risk. Um, Off-road use only. So here we've taken off uh, the battery connector at the, at the top here. And they actually have a, a light connector jammed in there that isn't used because this bike doesn't come with a front light or any lights actually. Um, so that's kind of cool. You can hook up a light if you ever wanted to. There's the connector, two pin. Um, this controller, we looked it up, the stock controller. Uh, the PAS sensor is actually hardwired to it, which kind of sucks. Because if your PS sensor ever goes, then you have to pay $169 to replace the whole controller. So here we got the rear wheel off. Uh, this new wheel didn't come with rim tape, so we're going to have to steal the rim tape off this wheel. Same width. Also, we took the derailleur off to get the wheel out and that... Uh, derailleur protector we have the new um ps pas sensor on here fits in the same spot uh you just take the crank off and swap the new one on so the rear wheel is installed the torque arm is not on yet that's a rear wheel controller you can see there's no screw holes here we installed uh, gussets in there. What do you call them, Tim? Those guys with a rivet gun. In there, so now the controller's bolted on there nice and solid. It's the only place we could fit it. It's, it's really big compared to the small original one. And yeah, we're going to hook that all up and go from there. 
All right, so this is now mounted in with a couple screws, just fits right in. The four to one cable here is running through the frame and it routed very easily down through. It just came out the bottom, these two wires. And this has to be soldered to a another um, X, XT60. XT60 connector to connect to here. And then, yeah, after that, you just got to route the wire back here. From the motor, connect it in. Connect the uh, XT60. Connect this to the controller from the Form 1. And you're pretty much good to go. Snap the battery in. And should work great. So here we have the Grin torque arm on and mounted there. That's the most important part of this build. You really need that. The torque this motor puts down is way more than the original one. So that XT60 connectors connected and soldered. Battery's in and we're gonna turn it on and test it. All right, so the battery's in, everything's connected, everything works. Uh, just gonna hit the throttle. I'm gonna put it th full throttle right up now. So On the stand, as you, see, as you see, it can go 61 kilometers an hour. We'll see what that's like on road with a uh, human weight on it and whatnot. But yeah, works pretty good. So here it is, ready to ride. Just need the battery in it. Um, a little thing over here, this brake caliper, we had to space out a little bit with some washers because this axle has a bigger diameter than the original axle. So it sets the wheel down more away from the brake caliper. So it had to be adjusted a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll uh, take it for a ride and let you know how it is.